Hey babes and welcome back to my channel. So tonight's video is a little haul video. I am drinking a relentless. Because you know I need the energy boost. So yeah. Um, by this point you would have saw my boot sale week one video. So the start of this one is going to be my boot sale week two, which is the second boot sale of the year I've been to. Now, I didn't go to this one with my usual partner in crime, my little red friend Hannah, because she let me down and I actually went with Miss Jenny. She has been mentioned on my channel several times, but never been in any of my videos. And she kindly picked me up, her and her boyfriend. And yeah, um, we went to the car beach sale. We did a uh, car beach in. So, first I'm going to start with a little gift that Miss Jenny got me off the boot sale, which is this cool black scarf with stars on. Um, she also got herself one, so we did matchy, you know, twinsies. We, we did matchy-matchy. And yeah, it's real cute. So thank you, honey. And thanks to Mr. Honey for driving us. It was such a fun day. And yeah. So thank you for my scarf and thank you for the day out. And then I, these are the items that I bought myself. A fishnet vest or, you know, crop top. These are quite big, they're like square holes, which is quite unusual, which I like. Um, originally this would have been by Topshop. And this, you guys, was 50p. And then I picked up a pair of Winkle Picker boots, little black ankle ones. So these are my size. Um, Euro 43, which that is a UK 9. These are Gibson London. Still have quite a bit of wear left, and these were only a pound. And then I picked up two voils. These are black ones. These are like, so the two make a pair. Like black curtains, like netty um, type things. And these were a pound each because they were brand new, as you can see. So yeah, you can never have too much net and stuff. I have like white ones exactly the same as this down my bed. Which if I wanted to change it up, I could um, do black ones. Or I could do it like white, black, white, black. So it looked look like Tim Burtonish, black and white stripes. So um, the possibilities are endless with those. And then I picked up one DVD off the car boot. Which was this Alien, what is it? Alien vs. Ninja. It's just a horror martial arts movie and this was only 50p it's quite funny actually i've watched it one and a half times because i got halfway through it and then fell asleep the second time and then i picked up some pictures well i didn't want them all i just wanted this one because i really like the eight the old lady cooking eggs and this one is degro rodriguez I can't pronounce. Anyway, it's Old Woman Frying Eggs. It's by that artist. And Old Woman Frying Eggs. I really like that. Then the second one, which I really like now as well as I've been looking at it. It's called um, A Woman Taken, uh, Taken in Adultery. The artist is there. Uh, yeah, A Woman Taken in Adultery. And this is it. It's really, really unusual, so that's quite nice. And then the third one was a, re a rehearsal of a ballet on stage. That's the info there and there. So if you pause the video, and this is what the picture looks like. And then this one, Cottage in, corn in a Cornfield. This one is um, very cottage core-ish. So it is, they are quite nice, like all of them are. So, yeah. And then this one 
is Isle of Wight. The artist, and down there, that's what that looks like. So yes, there was one, two, three, four, five of them, and it was a pound for all five. So a real bargain. And then I've took off, just so I can show you so I don't forget it. I picked up another little ring, stainless steel, so it won't send your fingers green. And that was a pound. And then I picked up this necklace, which I don't like the like the elastic. It is pretty flimsy, but it was only 20p, but I want the coin. The coin has... A little rabbit on it and then this on the back so for 20p yes and then I picked up this um, Sun and Moon necklace the very 90s I like the fact that the Sun is like a bronzy color and the moon is like a silvery color so they call it like coordinated I am going to take them off this cord and put them on a choker or something because this is pretty beat up and that one was 50p. And then Miss Jenny, Jen, found this little moon keychain in purple. And she found me a star in like a yellowy green. So I'm going to put these on a jacket or something. And these cost 20p each. And then I picked up two pins. Because I'm working on a leather jacket, punky style. So this one says... Meat, bread, and beer. That was 20p. And then this one says, Save the planet, drink organic. And that also was 20p. Now for 50p, I picked up these little elastic band toys. Because they're useful for when you want to tie your hair and part it for when you're dyeing it. Or whether you want to put it under a wig and... Just bunch it up so it stays under. I think bands work better than wig caps. So yeah, 50p. And then I picked up these two little vintage. I think this one with the grapes on. Is a jam knife. Which I eat a lot of mustard. So I'm going to use as a mustard knife. And then I think this one. Is a fish knife. Don't quote me though. So yeah, I really just wanted this one, but it was a pound for the two. So I had those to go on my vintage silverware. And then on there, there was this bloke who had four boxes, five boxes of stuff, and it was all free. And I just spotted this little cage. This vintage. It is a potpourri um, holder. So yeah, that was free. So that was my boot sale um, finds. And now on to the charity shopping that I've done in the past week. So you guys know I'm going really cottagey, core-ish and stuff. And I collect mushrooms anyway. I found this. I love the colours. Look how the colours is. This little mushroom toadstool um, threesome. It's quite heavy to be honest. And that was only a pound. I really, really like it. Can't wait to put it to my collection. And then I picked up this little black bag. It's just a little canvas one. I thought it's quite useful. Put some keychains on it, some pins. And you guys, that was only a pound. So I thought, why not? I could always use another bag. And then there was a lot of band t-shirts in there. But I think they were all reprints. But I found a couple that I like. And... So I found this little vest, um, crop top or wife beater, depending on where you're from. And it has a little pentagram and stuff on the back. So yeah, that was a pound. And then I picked up this one for a pound. Ooh, so yeah, that's the back of it. There's a little pentagram in there as well. Really, really like them. And then I picked up just a pure cotton MS 
Marks and Spencer T. It's just a slim fit. Plain black T. Can't go wrong with plain black. That was a pound. And then also this River Island zip up hoodie for a pound. So yeah, can't go wrong. And then also there was four belts for one pound. So I picked up four belts. I picked up this one. That was about one. And then about two. There's a bit of bling. Wow, I love a bit of bling, bling, bling. And this one is actually a real leather one from Next. I don't have a problem buying secondhand leather, but I do not buy new. I very rarely buy anything new, but I'm just putting it out there. I don't buy real leather, real fur, or fast fashion. I always do everything secondhand. And this one's a very 60s, 60, 70-ish. And it's really cute. And it's fat face. Because I'm going to do a lot of browns because I'm doing the whole cottage core, starving artist sort of thing. And this is also real leather. You guys, these were like four for a pound. And then this one is quite unusual. It is an O-ring. And it's about. Um, this one would have been Wallace's. This is so 90s. Wallace, I remember a friend slash neighbour used to shop in there. And it used to cost a lot of money. So how this belt works, you just undo that. So you've got your little belt. And then you put this through because there's a little tiny little thing there. And then you just sort of like pop it in the hole, like sort of thing. Uh, sounded rude, didn't it? Pop it in the hole. Check the hole, babe. Yeah, so yeah. Four for a pound. You guys, I would have paid like a pound each for them, if not more. But yeah, that's the first part of charity shopping. And then we've got some more. Talking about the 70s, this is DVDs. These are all all a pound each. Um, so we've got Hunky Dory. It's like a 70s musical starring Mini Diver. I watched it last night. Interesting. I also watched... The Martins last night, it's got Kathy Burke in it and Lee Evans and Linda Bassett. If you remember Linda Bassett, she's like the mother from East Disease. And I love Kathy Burke because I love her in Gimme Gimme Gimme. Linda I use. Look at me, I'm gorgeous. So yeah, it's if you like Shameless, you would like this. And then I picked up the Great Gastonbury because I really like the 1930s, 40s sort of Oh, pardon me, style, because I like costume dramas. Anything that's got outrageous, flamboyant costumes, I really, really like. And yes, I've never watched it, but I am going to watch it tonight. And then Tommy Lee Jones, Ashley Judd, uh, Judd in Double Jeopardy. I have watched this before, many years ago. Looking forward to re-watching it. And then... The complete second season of Vampire Diaries. I had them and gave them away. I don't like them. I don't like Vampire Diaries and I don't like the Twilights. So I have picked these up for a friend of mine. So these will be posted. And for a pound I couldn't leave it so I had to send it to them. And then I think I've watched this one before. But I am going to re-watch it. If I remember right I didn't like it. But if not I'll just send this to the same friend. Which is a vampire movie called Suck. So I'm probably going to rewatch that. And then I've never seen this one with James Gordon and Matthew Horne, vampire, uh, Lesbian Vampire Killers. So I'm going to give that a try. If I don't like it, then it will go with those two along to a new friend. Um, so yeah. And then I picked up this wooden puzzle, 3D aeroplane. Which is basically just, they all slot together. So me and my nephew is probably going to put that together. And see how it looks if I um, get it wrong. But I don't think you can go really wrong with it. It's just all slots and stuff. And then I picked up this cool little autumnish leaf. Because I'm working on a brown blazer. Very cottage core, goblin core, fairy core. You know, everything that's on trend at the moment. But for me, it's more along the hippie -ish line. Which I really, really like. This was a pound. So that's going to go onto that blazer. 
And then my Solomon postcard you saw in the previous haul. I found a frame for it, this really cool green one. And it was only a pound and it's Italian. So this Italian butte is gonna have my Solomon photo in as soon as I finish this video. And I picked up this children's book for 50p because it's a black cat. Six dinner Sid, so it's a very, very greedy black cat. And the pictures are quite awesome. Um, they're like really really cute he gets a lot of fuss the bloke in the window is really unusual and the cat's always getting fuss from neighbours so he's getting a fish there from that bloke I like and I like the fact that the bloke looks a bit alternative he has an earring and everything but look how cute the pictures are I just love it and that was like 50p and it won an award in 1990 so yeah anything black cats i've got to have because i'm a witch you know i just need my familiar and then i think this is the last thing yeah so as i said about the whole cottage core hippie thing 70 ish i own a lot of black leather i wanted something different and i found this brown one, it's really shiny, really soft, it smells good, it has a little zipper on the front, it also buttons up and zips. So yeah, because if you're like a, a starving painter or an artist or a poet, or um, you know, if you want to go for that whole cottage, um, woodland feel, you need a brown leather in your life, so I had it. And it's by that one. And yeah, this was a little pricey, but for the quality, I didn't mind. It was £25. So yeah, I had to have it. I love it. So yeah, that's my new jacket. So this has been my little haul. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please like comment subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell notification if you would like to follow me on facebook you can do so if you like to follow me on instagram you can do so if you like to check out my shitty little twitter you can do so but you don't have to but yes until next time take care of all of you and bye for now bye babes